everyone, QB King 77 here from the AC Syndicate team here to do a video showing you how to install the Blazer ROM, the ice cream sandwich Blazer ROM on your Samsung Epic 4G Touch. Very excited to install this ROM as the Blazer ROM is one of my favorite gingerbread based ROMs, so I'm excited to uh, try out the ice cream sandwich based ROM. So let's go ahead and jump into it. First of all, on your device, you're going to need to make sure you have Clock Room Mod 5.0.2.7. That's what I recommend just to ensure nothing's going to go wrong. You can get it however Whatever you want, whether you flash a kernel via mobile Odin or Odin, or you install a ROM that has it baked into it, as I have CM7 with Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7, but you're also going to need to click on the link in the description of the video. Doing so will take you to this website right here. First of all, of course, big thanks to my man Phantom Hacker for this ROM. Uh, big shout out to him. Be sure to thank him for this. But anyways, uh, you'll see Blazer ROM. Uh, it is based off the FF11 latest ice cream sandwich bake, uh, leaked build. Um, but go ahead and scroll down. We're going to need to download the ROM itself right here. Uh, you, will, you will see it right here. You'll see Phantom, Blazer, ICS ROM. Click on this ROM download right here. You're also going to need to uh, download Calculance Format All Zip. If you've already had it downloaded, you don't need to worry. But if you don't, click on this download button as well. And then uh, transfer both of those zip files. You'll see the ROM zip along with Calculance Format All Zip. Transfer both of those over to your device, whether it be internal or external storage. You'll see right here. I have both of them, um, just transfer them both onto your device. Once transferred over, you're uh, just about ready to go. You can go back to your phone. And once we are back to our phone, of course, make sure you do have Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7 on your device, however you want to get it, Mobile Odin, Odin, uh, install CM7, so it's up to you. Once done there, you can hit Reboot Recovery or Power Off Your Device because we're going to need to manually get into our custom recovery. I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do so now. Um, of course, as I said, Clockwork Mod 5.0.2.7. Once powered off, press and hold volume up and power button at the same time. Keep it held down until the Samsung screen lights up. And once it does, you can let go now. So go ahead and let go once that lights up. And then it should take us into our custom recovery. Like so. So here we go. As I said, Clockwork Mod right here. Uh, what we're going to need to do now to install this ROM. First of all, I recommend making an Android backup. Uh, just go to Backup and Restore and make an Android Backup. That is what I recommend initially. Keep in mind that you will need to install this recovery again if you'd like to restore the backup that you do make. But anyways, uh, once make you make that Android Backup, what you're going to need to do is go to Install Zip from SD Card and select it. Uh, actually, to get the power button working, you go, uh, go to the top, press Up, Down, Up, Down until it says Back Menu button enabled and you're ready to go. Sorry about that. Uh, that will allow your power button to work. So now go to install zip from SD card and press the power button and then go ahead and hit choose zip from SD card or internal SD card wherever you transfer that file, uh, that uh, format all file. Um, and now go ahead and find that Calculins format all for E4GT file, select it and hit yes, install. So go ahead and install that. It's going to go ahead and do all the formatting for you. You will not need to do any wipes, uh, data wipes or anything. It's going to do it all for you. Once done there, go to choose zip from SD card again and then find that ROM zip uh, that we transferred on over to our device, that Phantom FF11 ROM zip. Select it and hit yes, install. It'll go ahead and install the Blazer ROM for you, the ice cream sandwich Blazer ROM. So be patient with this. It'll take a bit of time to install this ROM. So kind of let it do its thing, uh, but I'll be back once it's done. All right, and there we go. Uh, enjoy your experience. Uh, donate if you like his work. Um, install from SD card is complete. That, mean the ROM, that means the ROM is done installing. Now just hit the go back button and then reboot system now. Let's so go ahead and reboot your device. Once uh, rebooting, it should take us to the boot animation of the Blazer Ice Cream Sandwich ROM. I'm going to go ahead and let it uh, let you guys check out the boot animation, but I'm going to be doing a separate review video. As you can see, Galaxy S2 boot animation, Samsung um, Galaxy S2 boot animation, so very cool there. But uh, there we go. As I said, be sure to check out my separate review video. I will link to that in the description of the video. Um, but other than that, if you do have any questions, just leave a comment. Be sure to subscribe as well. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.